Welcome everyone to the Anniholic Time Chamber with your host, Jin! And Maestro Please. Hello everyone, welcome to the Anniholic Time Chamber. I am Maestro Please. And I'm Jin. And today we are going to be talking about our favorite anime OSTs. Now if you don't know what OSTs are, they are original soundtracks. Let's have a little text down here. There you go. OSTs are original soundtracks, as in like the background music or the music occurring under a scene. Um, or or even even like the music like in the beginning of an anime or even an ending song. Yeah. They or, all, they're, they're all there. Yeah, and then uh, if you think outside of anime, like let's say anime based video games, it could be character themes or um, like overworld themes, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Just, there's, there's a bunch. If you don't notice it, then start listening to anime yeah. just a little bit more. Yeah, just listen a little bit yeah, more. Because, I mean, uh, like, being the music director of God of High School, like, <laughs> music makes such a huge impact. Yes. Inside, like, for your scenes. It's, yeah, especially, like, if you guys watch God of High School Episode 2 on the God of High School YouTube, uh, you will see all this awesome music playing. Mm -hmm. And I picked out each one. <laughs> All right. So anyway, what's your favorite? Let, let's let's just go down the list. What what's your favorite? Okay, it's hard to it's hard for me to pick a favorite because I'm an avid listener. Of, okay, well then that's a problem. I've <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've listened to so many, but um, if I were to like prioritize it by which ones I listen to the most right mm -hmm. now, uh, it would have to be probably Kids on the Slope. Kids, uh, on, kids the on the Slope. slope. We've talked about this on uh, Anniholic Time Chamber before. Yeah, one of our previous episodes. Yes, when I was raving mad about it. And uh, the reason being that Yoko Kano, same person that wrote Cowboy Bebop, Ghost in the Shell, ETC, um, she does the music for that. And if you look online, uh, you might find an old article with me ranting, not really ranting, more like Praising, exalting, Praising. exalting <laughs> Yoko Kano on how awesome she is uh, at writing music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, a couple favorite tracks from that uh, from that OST. Uh, one is the uh, Kaoru and Centaur, Centaro, yeah, Centaur duet. Uh, it's so wonderful because it's just piano and drums, and it's just a wonderful. Uh, medley of three awesome jazz standards. Uh, my favorite things, you probably know that sound of music. Uh, someday my prince will come. Um, and uh, Moaning uh, by. Um, oh man, I am forgetting who it That's is. That's okay. But then. Um, oh, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messenger. There you go. That's, that's uh, where the moment's from. But uh, those are the top three uh, songs. Like, even though they're in a medley, mm -hmm. I still like how they are played like individually. They actually have uh, the songs individually in the OST, and that's what I love about it. Uh, the second one would be on my list uh, is a JRPG called Persona 3. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, if you're a Persona fan out there, Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the music. Uh, Shoji Meguro is such an awesome composer also. Um, he actually, from the songs that he made for Persona 3, he mm -hmm. was able to make even more versions of that song. Oh, um, wow. One of his, uh, or one of the enduring hits of all time for uh, the Persona series. Uh, the name, the name of the song changes every now and then. Like it, be, it could be called multiple names as "Poem for Everyone's Soul" or "Poem of the Soul." Uh, the one that I have is called "Aria of the Soul." In Persona Four, actually, yeah, it shows up in Persona Two, Three, and Four. So it's been a long-running song in the series, and it is so cool. It puts me to sleep every night. <laughs> Makes me feel at peace. That it's in the your, velvet it's room. It's your lullaby. Yeah, it's my lullaby. It's a very haunting lullaby. <laughs> and uh, that's why I love Persona 3 OST. Other two songs, Burn My Dread. You guys know what it is. And, oh, what was it? Iwa Todai Dorm. Those three, top three for Persona 3. All right, Jin. So what, what are your favorite anime OSTs? Is well, like anything you can think of at the, the off, the, like you know, the, the top, top of my head. Yeah, uh, top of your head. Let's see. I, I the first thing I can think of is Initial D. Mm. Uh, I love all of their songs, <laughs> yeah. especially um, the fourth seasons, um, the, the fourth seasons opening theme. Well, mm. the first one, 
which is Dogfight by Moon. Uh, great song. I use that to drive all the time if I can. <laughs> well, it is initial D. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the reason. Exactly. You, you know? feel epic when you're driving. Yes. Exactly. Song. And all, of course, um, there was a few others that were inserted in there. Uh, so the other one I, I liked the most was uh, Shakugan no Shana. Ah. Yeah, I, I love like most of the openings. I would mm. say, um, for example, being like uh, Kotoko and. Also, Let My Fire, which is mm. by the same artist. <laughs> did, did, did you, uh, I think we had a discussion about this on um, like the best anime OST, uh, not OSTs, uh, like openings. Openings. Opening games. Opening games. Yes, yeah, we he, did. He threw Shopping on him, but then yeah. uh, Cowboy Bebop totally beat it. Yeah, <laughs> which also brings up uh, Cowboy Bebop. Yes, Cowboy Bebop one, uh, is awesome. That's one of the best I've heard. Yes, it is so Real awesome. Real Folk Blues, man. Yeah, yeah Real Folk Blues is really awesome. Uh, Tank. Okay. Like, two, I've seen one, professional, or not professional, but like collegiate jazz bands play Tank, and they would actually have a, uh, uh, like a, like a punky, uh, uh, like a ball guy <laughs> go up and do the, uh, the, the beginning, the, the beginning roll, where it's, ah, uh, it's so awesome. <laughs> and, um, but, uh, aside from the beginning theme and the end theme, there are about one, two, three, four, Five? I think like five possible or five CDs of, of how many songs that they've used yeah. throughout the entire series, which includes like uh Blues. Of course. Um one of my favorites is um Piano Black, which is also a really epic track. So that ends our little discussion on anime OSTs. Tell us, you know, tell us uh, what you think is your favorite OST. Uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, send it to uh, Day Zero TV. Alright? So, um, that's it for the Anniholic Time Chamber on Anime OSTs. I'm Maestro Please. And I'm Jen. And we'll see you soon. See you next time. And this is where we play anime music. Yes. <laughs> anime music. Of your choice.